Um, Just J Games, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you got a question here. Morant 7706 or Denon 3700H preamp mode. Measurements say Denon is better, but word is separates are better. Hmm. Mm. I, my question has always been because that came up in one of the videos that I made on the 7706 versus the Marantz uh, SR8015. So both of them are current models. You know, to me, I heard better separation and like channel separation in the 7706. Was that just me wanting to hear that? I don't think it was because I actually went into it thinking the preamp mode in the 80. 15 should technically sound the same as a processor in my brain. And that's not what I heard. And that's what, not what my friend heard. Whether or not, again, like, is that the placebo effect? Who knows? Um, but my question is, is in the measurements, what was measured as far as better, which I think is the preamp section. Can you hear that difference? So that part, I don't know. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. A lot of these electrical you know? measurements, I don't even I don't even read that stuff anymore because I'm like if it comes from a good manufacturer I'm going to trust that it's far below the threshold of audibility, you know. So I don't even right. care about that stuff. Mm, gotcha. Which I know is blasphemous, but <gasps> wait a minute, you don't care about measurements? That's what your whole channel's about, dude. Come on. Measurements. I oh, mean, good man, lord, you just, you just made videos on thirty db of noise. Like you ain't ever going to hear that. So yeah. why do I care? You know, <laughs> but, but I will say that there are some cases where it's good to have the measurements kind of back up. For example, yeah. like the Crown amplifiers that I use are Pro Audio. They got a low signal to noise ratio, mm -hmm. and paired with high sensitivity speakers like what I'm using in my theater room, yeah, you just hear a bunch of hiss. So it would be nice if I had better amplifiers, but I don't really care because it's not like a critical listening if i'm doing anything it's just cranking up movies and blasting so right blasting it blasting yeah, for, it for so me with Jay. electronics though the most annoying thing is when there's noise when there's no sound right well that's I what i'm that. saying that's what he's it's the low it signal noise, and all you hear is i don't like that i at hate all. that so that's the spec that and power are the only two things i care about when you're talking about distortion and it's like 0.001 percent right like okay what am I going to do with that? I can't. I mean, we, most people can't even hear ten percent, so what I don't you know what to tell you. Yeah. I see you doing something, Chana. <laughs> my mic. I need to change out my mic. I hear some. My mic sound. I hear some hiss. Chana looks frozen. Oh, his eyes moved. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the hiss. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the I don't, I don't thing, like yeah. noise on uh, powered speakers. Yes. I don't like yeah. noise on amplifiers. Yeah. Right. Once I hear that, I'm like, mm, this is not well designed. Yeah. Like who would design something thing. where like you have noise like right. off the bat, right? Well, yeah. And who signed off on that? You know, like who said, uh, that's, that's good, acceptable, but you can it. hear from like 20 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> like, come uh, on. Uh, I've seen, I've heard one, some company sent me an app to review and it, I was getting like radio signals. I'm like, I'm not reviewing this. You guys can have it back. <laughs> yeah. It's, whatever I say is not going to be nice. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I, I would, I would say, Jay, like, you know, save yourself the money. Go with the thirty seven hundred H in preamp mode. Uh, that's what I put. Put some better, some more money in your speakers. Get some bigger subs, <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, or go the route of buying both of them if you can, like Crutchfield. Yeah. You know, buy it all and then see which one you like. You make a mention yourself, spend and more then return money, the but... other one. Yeah, then RTS, yeah. man. Well, the Morantz has that. Uh, what is the thing called? They're they're uh, dedicated pre a preamp mode. No, not that. The well, that's a process. On Marantz, they have that uh, HDM, HDM. Yes, HDM, oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is that supposed to be? Like, um, I don't know, discrete circuits that are supposed to make it sound like more like warm, like warm or something like that. Tingly. And uh, it probably does. It probably does. How it does it, I don't know. Um, I think it has to do, based on the measurements, by adding some kind of a little bit more distortion somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. That some people might like. And it's not for me to say whether that's correct or not. If somebody likes it, then that's... That's on them, but mm -hmm. uh, measurement wise, it doesn't measure as well, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Not as clean, but again, I don't know. You have to yeah, try well, like it. you're saying when you're talking like as well, are we talking negative 110 dB distortion or like negative 130? Because those are like so far beyond what you can possibly hear. Mm. You know, at that point, does it matter? So that's the stuff that. When, that's why I don't really worry about amplifier and electronics measurements. I think yeah. it's good to have to see if there's a faulty design, but out far as far as you know, like I don't know, getting caught up in it, I don't, I don't yeah. think it's a waste, or I don't think it's a 
a useful thing for me to spend my time on. I'd rather be concerned with speakers. Well, I've, I've had both Morantz and Denon. I'm sure Chana and Michael, you both have. I don't know about you. Um, but yeah, I, I can kind of tell a difference. I don't know. To me, it's not a huge difference in like, oh, this is so much warmer that I would definitely buy the Morantz over the Denon. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear. I remember I reviewed a Denon and a Marantz. It was probably about two or three years ago. 6400 versus the uh, SR8012 at that time. And I honestly didn't, like, there was no, like, oh, my gosh, I'm hearing a difference between the two. Um, but that was just me. I mean, so, you know, they are, they are using. Brand to brand. They are using the same room correction. Mm -hmm. So I would yeah. imagine they sound pretty similar. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Some yeah. people say that the Marantz has the musical chip. The guys that are into two channel that that do want a combo of home theater receiver AVR, as well as some that'll do two channel really well. You know, again, there are some guys that say that they like Marantz because of that, and they say Denon doesn't have that <laughs> musical chip. So, whatever that means, though. You that know, Macintosh is ridiculous, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, I would That's rather cool. have the Denon just for the screen itself. I don't like the little portal i don't care that the portal the little clock and then i gotta open it up to actually see the rest of the display the port hole yeah, yeah, yeah forget yeah. that yeah, or or just you you hit info on the avr and then it comes up on screen although this yeah. the 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 2020 mm -hmm. denon and avr or denon and moran's avrs actually have that second info screen which is awesome because it tells you what video signals are co coming in and going out right so uh, that you know i was able to see 4k 120 hdr from the you know, PS five that way. Otherwise I wouldn't, I'd have to like spend like, you know, six grand on a Meridio something or other to just to see, you know, kind of um, what's coming in and what's going on. Yeah. 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 So it's nice. It's nice.